it's crazy, man. Everything's moving so fast. Pernelli about to turn pro. We at the press conference right here. Look how lovely everything looks. Hey. And yeah, I'm just excited. I can't wait to see how far we can go with this. Let's go, gang. This is not the right ball, and now they're like this. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> This is how he trains before his press conference, bro. <laughs> this guy's weird. Ready, go. Go up. Go up. <laughs> what you got to say? Nuts, He's taking it serious or not? I don't understand what's going on. Three. It's the girls. It's motivating. Five. I don't have to do it. One more. <laughs> well, good luck. This guy's good. We want more intensity. I'm gonna hit this. Ready? Oh, he took off his shirt. His shirt came off. Oh, Susan. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, cool guy. And this man right here, Prophet. Let's get it. Yeah. How you feel? Like a beast. Let's go! Yali, what's up? You see it? No, I don't need to do it, I'm just gonna use my BLM card. <laughs> Yo, go lower, what you doing? What you doing? Oh god! Oh! Oh! oh. We want more intensity, more intensity. We want more intensity, more intensity. Yo, what's going on, man? What time is it? It's 10.30, bro. I was supposed to be up at 8 o'clock to get everything ready and prepare for the press conference, bro. Now it's... Training, training too hard, man. You're just training too hard. That's what it is. Whipping my alarm for 10.30. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> That's bad, man. Press conference day, you know, 12 p.m. Firm was supposed to be up at by 8. We're supposed to be getting ready, you know, talk about some ideas, but you know how we roll, man. But it's 10.30. Um, we're going to Jason's house right now to get Fernelli's bag because that's where all his drip is at. And then we're going to head back to the crib and start setting up everything. But I'm excited, man. It's a big day. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for putting us in this position right now. And... Fernelli deserves it, you know, he's been working OD hard. He got his fight coming up in a couple weeks. And let's get it, man. See the before. Before. 11.06. 40 minutes. Well, to the sports dome. See you there. Thank you. 
<laughs> a lot of love here, man. We love it. We love it. Before we get started, we do have some members of the community here and one special person that we have joining us, the mayor like Esposito, here on behalf of Mayor Joseph Macavo. Make some noise, Mayor like Esposito. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. What an honor it is for me to be here today for the city of Danbury and the, the champions that we have here. Nelly is the next champion coming out of Danbury. When he becomes the next world champion, he's going to work with the youth and work with the city and make it a, a better place for all of us. And I just wanted to thank you and thank you guys for what you're doing for the city of Danbury. Yeah. Once again, in my boxing announcer voice, make some noise for Mayor-elect Esposito, President of Bulldog Boxing Promotions, Mr. Gino Lemary. Gino Lemary. Just want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, just want to let you know I'm proud to be part of this, and uh, I know Finelli has a great team behind him. Us at Bulldog, we have one goal, and it's to make him champion. Yes. And I promise uh, Dan Barry will be back around to do some promotions here. All right, thank you. I'm so proud of Fanelli over here. Thank you guys to be part of this. Fanelli's been helping so much in my boxing. Been 42 years old and trained with uh, Fanelli Tonali over the 18 years old. Uh, the speed, man, it's crazy. Thank you, everyone, and uh, proud of this kid so much. Yes, sir. This kid right here, I can't say enough about him. Two-time national champion, ringside world champion, Sugar Bird national champion. I mean, he's done it all. It's an honor to be with him. And my goal is one thing, to make this kid champion, make sure he has everything he has to get him there. Big things coming to Danbury. Thank you, guys. Yay! One thing that I always say, keep your dream. Don't back up out of your dream. Don't let nobody get you out of it. Don't listen to negative people or anybody that always have doubt. Without the effort of the people that I'm working with, I can't do it. Nothing come easy. It's going to be tough and hard. But today I have the honor to say that I have the number one in the nation, which is my song. You guys are going to be happy every time you can go and support Fernelli Feliz Jr. Let's support what we got here. And this is it, man. All right. I've been fortunate in my career over the past 30 plus years to work with a number of heavyweight world champions. I don't want to put too much pressure on this young man. He reminds me of a young Cassius Clay. Being a heavyweight, move the way he moves, he's so fast, he's strong, you know, he's got a little bit of everything in him. No right now, everybody thinks of, of Fernelli Jr. as you know, Dan Barry's champion, it's my job make him the world champion. Yeah. And now, the reason why we're all here is to get that special announcement and some words from the one and only five-time Golden Gloves champion. Not one, Woo! not two, not three, not four, not five. Yes, actually five. Five-time Golden Glove champion, three-time national champion, gold medalist in the Dominican Republic, ranked number one Super heavyweight in these United States. Please help me welcome Danbury's own next future of boxing and world champion to be Vanelli Feliz. Thank you everyone for coming. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. <laughs> you guys will all see. Yeah! I told my friends I was going to do that. Um, there's so many people I'd like to thank, man. And um, I'd like to see a lot, of the, a lot of the youth came out to support me. And honestly, that's, that's my dream. That's why I do what I do. Um, I don't fight for myself, but I fight for my community and the youth yes. of my community. In order to be great, you have to be around greatness, man. And I train with nothing but the best of the best. At, uh, to share MMA, you have uh, Ter uh, Wellington, Terman Wellington. You have Reggie uh, Carvalho. Ali, man, Alex oh my Pereira, my, you know, um, Troy, people like Juju. Um, these are guys that I train with every single day. And um, just watching how, how, how much they want it, how, how much they train, and we just push each other. It's amazing, man. It's, it's, it's awesome. I appreciate every single one of you for coming out. Every, every single one of you. I thank you so much. I promise you guys, you guys are going to love this journey. 
And um, the reason why I wanted something like this is I want you guys to be a part of this journey. I want to do it with you guys. I don't want to do it by myself. Um, and I want to take you guys on a fun ride, man. <laughs> this is going to be beautiful. Yeah. I believe with the glory of God in front of us and That's this right. beautiful team, we're going to just we're going to go up, man. And it's only up from here. So I thank you guys for coming, and um, you will see. Just like I said earlier. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna call you when I'm dead. All right, bet, bro. You're in the vlog. That's easy. Yeah. All right, bro. For the people that were there, thank you so much. That meant a lot, man. Uh, shout out to Sousa Society. Shout out to Two Vulture. You guys are the best. You guys did your thing, man. You guys, if it wasn't for you guys, bro, I, I, I would be very stressed out, man. You guys hold me down. And today was a success, bro. We were looking forward to this, and it was great. I thank everybody. I'm very happy. Can't be any happier. And I can't wait for what the future holds for not just me, but for my city. Shout out 203, Dan Berry, Dan Berry, the business city situation of the hat factory, of the mad hatters, of the factory where the hatters were that matters, and that's what matters. Yeah.